Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in my last video, when I was narrating and doing the walkthrough and everything, I forgot about the restrictions on this quest. Uh, shout out to Klaus Klusa, who left a comment saying, did you recommend champions that were restricted in this quest? And the answer is yes, I did. So I actually took down the next video so that I could redo it because I just completely forgot about the restrictions. I was just giving counters for the champions without regard to the fact that you may not be able to bring those guys in here. So the restrictions, as you can see on the screen here, are Mystic, Symbiote, and Spider-Verse heroes. That's all you can bring in, okay? You see the team off to the left, that's a team of uh, good champions that you can bring in here. But we're gonna go over the uh, path and then we're gonna look at the options that you have for your heroes. Okay, so let's go ahead and back out, go in here. And the path that I recommend for the easy clear is the leftmost path. Now, if you watched my um, video, you'll notice that I did a mix, okay? So this first off to the right with a Storm Pyramid X, that's actually a different path, but you'll notice the one star chest. That's gonna probably be the easy way. You can do the far left, okay? But uh, what I would say is the easiest is to start out with Storm Pyramid X. You're gonna have to deal with this Energize uh, Enhanced Special One, Special One Bias. If you know how to evade her Special One, you're golden. You can bring in and you can do that. Any champion that I brought in here can take out these first two, um, in fact, can take out these first three on this path here. Uh, off to the left, if you can take out a Kingpin, if you know how to fight him, uh, I would say that's a good path. Uh, that Punisher 2099, uh, you can fight him with, say, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced or Stealth Suit Spidey because they have that auto evade and it'll help you evade his specials. Uh, and then you, of course, have Bishop, who, again, Stealth Suit Spidey is a good option for him, but you don't need him. You can fight him with a variety of champions. But they may be a little bit more difficult to start off with. So you might want to do the Storm Pyramid X, Iron Man, and Proxima Midnight because they're easier, even though the nodes are, you know, a little bit more challenging, they have easy specials. So you shouldn't have a, a, a difficulty dealing with them. Then when you come up here, you do not want to continue going to the right because uh, you're going to have to deal with that mojo. That's what I did in the video. Don't do that. Go to the left and you got this war machine. Now this is a different path uh, if you took the Storm Pyramid X path because this one has to do with armor and strike back. Okay, very easy, 90% armor. We're gonna talk about that uh, when we look over the champions uh, that you can bring in. Okay, you've also got Iron Man Infinity War. Again, you've got a variety of champions that you can use uh, to take him out if you know how to fight him, all right? Um, there's there's uh, Black Widow, Clairvoyant can do it. Uh, Spider-Man, Stark Enhanced can do it. Venom can do it. So, you know, there's, there's not too many uh, champions that cannot do it if you know how to fight him, okay? And the tricky one on this path is Havoc. Havoc requires you to have either a power drain champion or a champion that gets an armor up buff. Okay, he also has that armor and strike back. Okay, some options for him are Dr. Voodoo. A lot of people don't think of Dr. Voodoo as a Havoc counter, but if you go to my channel, do a search for Voodoo uh, versus Havoc or something like that, you'll find I went into Act 6 and there was a voodoo, I mean, there was a havoc there that I defeated with Dr. Voodoo. 
because what you want to do is play very aggressively, get to your special two as fast as possible. You may end up taking a plasma detonation if you're a little bit too slow or if the AI is a little too passive. Uh, four stars work just fine. Uh, but once you get to your special two, you want to fire it off on an even combo as fast as possible. Once you do that, you should be able to take care of that fight because once he's getting power drained on every hit, you don't have to worry about his plasma charges. Okay, uh, so Dr. Voodoo does work. You also can do this if you have a champion that gets an armor up and Venom does but he's a little rng so you may go into the fight and venom just decides not to proc an armor up you're gonna be in trouble but venom is also a good counter because he does proc that armor up so any champion that you can bring in here mystic symbiote spider-verse champion that has an armor up buff you can use um i do believe venom the duck may work i have not tested that out okay uh, and of course, Captain Marvel movie, pretty much any champion that you really want to um, be careful with the mighty charge. She's immune to all debuff effects, uh, but you can actually fight her with anyone. I've, I've taken her out with uh, Venom. I've taken her out with Spider-Man uh, Stark Enhanced. Uh, so you can take her out with a variety of champions. You just have to know how to play around that node. Here are your options and this is a filtered list so you cannot choose anyone that is not allowed in this quest you just don't even see them here um kabam did this a little bit later this is why it was easy for me to forget when i was making the video because i no longer had to put any thought into okay which champion is a symbiote which champion is you know didn't have to worry about all of that I just come over here, look at who's available, and just start picking some champions that I think would work well. So other than the champions that you already see there, Symbiote Supreme, he works just fine. Okay, the hood also works just fine. Um, you could use Diablo, El Diablo, if you want. Uh, I don't like him. Uh, Sorcerer Supreme, if you have her, she works. I mentioned Venom the Duck. He works very well on that path. That 90% armor, when you fire off Venom the Duck's special two, watch them melt. So if you're playing with Venom the Duck, build him up. It's a little RNG and it's slow in the beginning. But once you've built him up, quit out of a fight. If uh, that first fight, if you're not getting the RNG you want, quit, restart it. It's worth it if you can get the buffs you need because... That 90% extra armor, they melt with his special two. So Venom the Duck is an extremely good counter for that path, especially if you decide to go all the way to the left rather than taking that fork and going to uh, Storm Pyramid X. If you just go all the way to the left, Venom the Duck is great for that. Okay, I did that in my exploration. I used Venom the Duck. All right, and then you have Mephisto. He's pretty good. Um, not one that I would necessarily recommend. Carnage is actually a, a decent option. That 90% armor doesn't really matter if you can bleed them really good. Um, but I, I think Carnage would work just fine. Guillotine, OG Guillotine also should be able to work. Uh, Spider Gwen for that path, um, she can work. Uh, the fights might be a little bit longer, though, because of that extra armor. All right. Um, let me see here. So, yeah, any of these guys will work. Magic, she'll work. Dr. Doom will work just fine. Uh, and remember, four stars will work in this quest. Morningstar also works just fine. Um, let me see here. Uh, don't recommend Ebony Maw. I mean, if you like him, you can use him, but I don't recommend him. Dragon Man might be fun. Uh, I did not have Dragon Man, I don't believe, when I did this originally. Um, Agent Venom, not so much. Iron Fist, no, I don't think so. Uh, Longshot might be useful. If you have him ranked up, leveled up, he might be useful in this quest as well. Um, Tigra, maybe. 
Uh, Ghost Rider, I probably wouldn't, but he can work. I don't want to use Ghost Rider without Blade, and you can't bring Blade in this quest. So therefore, for me, Ghost Rider was right out. Uh, Loki, uh, I don't really see any great advantage, advantage using Loki, so I wouldn't uh, recommend him. Uh, Spider-Man Symbiote, I actually like him. He's pretty cool, got some great armor breaks, but um, there's better champions. Okay, um, and you can see the rest of them here. Dormammu might actually be a good counter uh, because he can do power draining. So he might be a good counter for Havoc. I've never tried that, but he might work out pretty well. If you've used him, let me know in the comments below if he's a good counter for Havoc. Uh, Mojo uh, can also uh, work just fine. For offense, you probably want him awakened with a decently high SIG. Um, Thor Jane Foster. She can put shocks on them, uh, so she can actually work uh, as well if you don't have anyone else. Of course, Venom works. Venom Pool can work, but I probably wouldn't recommend him. Sasquatch, I didn't have as a five-star, but he can work as well. Uh, what you're looking at are people that can do damage over time, so you don't have to deal so much with that armor. Because if all you're doing is physical damage, that plus 90% armor is gonna make the fight take way longer than it should. Uh, Scarlet Witch, uh, she can work. Um, and I think I mentioned Sorcerer Supreme already. So yeah, I believe that's that's it. All right, um, man thing. Uh, you can if you want to, uh, but that's gonna do it guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Sorry I messed up. Uh, going forward, my videos will start with the restrictions and then as I'm going through the video, I'll have those restrictions in mind. And then as I make my recommendations, uh, I will, you know, not recommend champions that you can't bring in. Okay. But that's going to do it. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.